The next is, you know, competitors. Uh, to me, having those competitors around were fuel for my fire. Uh, I was competing at, in the 80s against the eight East Germans, and they pretty much were always like on the top of the podium, one, two, you know, one, two, I was usually third. I finally got to a point where I tied one of them in the race, and I had coaches from other countries coming up to me and congratulating me and saying, oh gosh, this was great. Now you're showing the girls on our team that you can actually compete with them. And you know, you tied them. And then the very next weekend, I beat both of them. <laughs> um, a, a very thrilling and an exciting time for me. And that was in 1987. So that was really just the year prior to the Olympic Games in Calgary. So, you know, I knew I definitely had a shot for a medal, but now I had a shot where I knew that maybe I could actually win an Olympic gold medal. Um, but they, they taught me a lot in the sense that, uh, to me, yes, I was always competing against the clock at the end of the straightaway, and you do have somebody that you race against at the same time on the ice, but once I wound up beating them, really that clock at the end of the straightaway became my ultimate competitor. I felt like if I can't beat that clock at the end of the straightaway, I can't beat everybody else. So to me, I always focused on the clock. Uh, whenever I went to different places around the world, I remembered where I, what times I skated at those places so that when I went back, I'm once again competing against myself. Yes, competing against others. But it really became a competition within me. And that's what would help push me so much. So really, those East Germans helped me to realize I needed to think past them and not just be looking up to them anymore. Now I had gotten to their level.